OK, just about to be called in. Let's hand over the commentary from Martin Harris at Weatherby. Being called in. And away they go. Racing over three miles and one furlong for the Grade 3 Skybet.com Roland Merrick Handicap Chase. They jump a total of 18 fences. Each of the nine fences taken twice and a long run before they leave the ground. So into the first left-handed turn, it's the two greys. Ross Com on the inside of Osmosis, who are cutting out the early running with former pointer He's a Dreamer tracking them. So Rembrandt is racing and a share of third on his outside. Sleeping Knight, the champion Hunter Chaser of 2005 on the comeback trail is settled in the midfield upside to the market leader King Cologne. They're being tracked by Little Big Horse. Truckers Tavern, who won this event in 2004, is settled in the last trio with Leading Man and Julius Caesar. Osmosis accelerates a length clear of Roscom as they clear the first fence, which they're all over safely enough. Leading Man didn't jump it too fluently as they head towards the second, which is the first of the open ditches. Osmosis is the leader going over it, had to stretch for it. At the back of the field, Julius Caesar jumped it quite badly away to the left and very deliberately. Fence three is a water jump. Osmosis from Sir Rembrandt, Roscom, and then Sleeping Knight. King Cologne with the white faces after those. Julius Caesar's already getting one or two reminders in the rear as Osmosis leads them over the fourth, which He's a dreamer, made a serious mistake at, causing Paul O'Neill to take a hand off the reins. Heading now towards the fifth, the last in the back straight. Osmosis taken wide from Sir Rembrandt, who's widest of all. They touch down a length between them. King Cologne is now in third place. Roscom's going the shortest route. Sleeping Knight is next. After those, Little Big Horse Trucker's Tavern. He's a dreamer. Reminders for leading man after jumping the fifth fence. And still at the back of the field is Julius Caesar under Paddy Brennan. So they're on the sweeping left-handed turn back towards the home straight. Osmosis has made all of the running to this point. It's been a steady pace. Ross Com at the inside, the paler of the two greys, is within half a length of the leader. And they've been tracked into the home straight on the first occasion by Sir Rembrandt. On the inside, He's a Dream has moved up into a more prominent position despite hitting the fourth fence hard. Leading man is taking closer order alongside King Cologne. And then comes Little Big Horse as they clear the ditch, the first in the straight where Sir Rembrandt made a jumping error. Tightly grouped though, heading up the straight on towards fence number seven, Osmosis, Roscom, and then towards the inside leading man, much more prominent now as they go over the first of a line of three plane fences, and that time Trucker's Tavern made a jumping error. Now they come on towards fence number eight with five lengths only covering the runners. Osmosis and Roscom land pretty much together with He's a Dreamer up the inside now taking much more closer order. Leading man is alongside him with the red cap. King Cologne is next, then Sleeping Knight. On the wide outside is Sir Rembrandt, then Little Big Horse Julius Caesar. Trucker's Tavern is last as the whole field covered by six lengths have taken nine of the 18 fences. So they're reaching halfway in the skybet.com. Roland Merrick and leading man has now moved up on the inside of the two greys to form a line of three as they race away from the packed enclosures. Osmosis is on the outside of Roscom. They're tracked into the turn by Sir Rembrandt in the yellow and red star jackets. The chevrons on the inside of those of He's a Dreamer. Sleeping Knight is alongside him. Going very wide indeed is Little Big Horse. King Cologne in the stripes is after those. Sir Rembrandt gets one or two hefty reminders running down the hill. Julius Caesar's never been travelling well. He's being pushed along at the back of the field with Trucker's Tavern for company. But there's still only half a dozen lengths covering the ten runners as they head off down the back straight for the final time. They've got fence number ten in their sights. Osmosis, Ross Carmen to the inside, leading man joined out wide by Sir Rembrandt, a length between the leading four. Then there's another four covered by only a length with Sleeping Knight making a mistake at the first in the back straight. Was totally outjumped by King Cologne. 
Second down the back, number 11, an open ditch. Osmosis on the outside of Ross Calm. The grey Ross Calm rose just in front. Leading man to their inside is a close third. Then out wide is Sir Rembrandt from Sleeping Night. King Cologne, he's a dream, a little big horse next. King Cologne, a mistake at the water jump. Trucker's Tavern is one from last. And Julius Caesar is the back marker and losing touch. Going over the next in the back straight, Ross Calm and leading man, the first two to rise at the back of the field Julius Caesar made another mistake he's now well off the pace as they go towards the last on the far side which is five from home still plenty with chances virtually six across the course as they jump this one osmosis sleeping night between runners little big horse has gone right up to join them Roscom now beginning to drop back on the inside of leading man Sir Rembrandt getting more reminders from Andrew Thornton is next then King Cologne who's losing his place as they leave the back straight behind them he's the dreamer is next. So they're on the crown of the home turn in the Roland Merrick with four fences to jump up the home straight and it's the outside a little big horse who's going to be first into the straight with Osmosis for company. Sleeping Knight and Leading Man are disputing third and the front four have drawn a few lengths clear from He's a Dreamer who's rallying in company with Sir Rembrandt. The fading Roscom is next but four of them covered by a little more than two lengths go over the final open ditch. Little big horse Sleeping Knight crashes out when a close goes forth. Julius Sees has been pulled up. They're heading down towards the line of three fences up the straight. Leading man with the red cap. Now coming up sides, Little Big Horse. Osmosis about three lengths behind. Leading man led at the third from home. Went away to the right, but he's now drawn on by two or three lengths from Little Big Horse. They're clear from Osmosis. He's the dreamer, Sir Rembrandt and Trucker's Tavern. Leading man away to the right, two from home, but he's now four lengths clear under Graham Lee for the Ferdy Murphy team. In second place is Little Big Horse. The Grey Osmosis is plugging on well. Then comes He's a Dreamer, Sir Rembrandt and Trucker's Tavern, all closing in for a place. But Leading Man jumps the last with a five-length lead in the Roland Merrick. It's playing on for places here. Leading Man halfway up the running is six or seven lengths clear. Sir Rembrandt, Osmosis, Little Big Horse and Trucker's Tavern will fight out the places. But Leading Man wins the Roland Merrick by seven or eight lengths. Sir Rembrandt for second, Trucker's Tavern up the inside of Little Big Horse, followed in by Osmosis. He's a dreamer, King Cologne. Roscom, the last to finish. Here at nine to one, beats Sir Rembrandt at fourteen to one. King Cologne was the two to one favourite. Ten ran, non-runner eight.